So a story. From the top of the hill, the life-sustaining waters of Watapa Pond stream into the falling river known as the Krakashan. This river falls sharply, hence the name, and spills into the Taunton River. At the base of this hill stands the Metacomet Mill. Built over the Krakashan, it stands as the oldest mill in the city now known as Fall River. But before the mills existed, before a ship pulled into a harbor not yet known, before the fur traders, and before the explorers, before the fabric of this land would be changed forever, there were people that already existed here. And we're here today to acknowledge that. So as I said, before Medicom it was a mill, it was an actual person. He was the son of Osamiqua, known as Massasoit, the great sachem. His son, Wamseta, also had a brother named Metacomet. Metacomet is known as King Philip. These two brothers of the Poconoket tribe married two sisters of the Pocasset tribe. One of those sisters married to Wamseta is known as Wiedemo. And Wiedemo literally had her summer home here. Among this trail, this is where her and her people would summer. In the winter, they would go to what is now known as Wiedemo Woods in Tiverton. During this time here, they lived essentially food, shelter, water, hunting, weaving. We acknowledge them as the first weavers of this land. But there was also there was also something else going on. People were coming. The intersection of different cultures started off as a friendship and then turned terribly bad. So King Philip, known as Metacomet, was the bloodiest war fought on this land. And after that war, tribes pulled together and so began the Wampanoag Nation. But from Fall River, the Pocasset existed and they still exist. And Wiedemo lost her life crossing the Taunton River, protecting this land. And so during the time of settlers moving in, taking over, they also had the goal to wipe out the memory of these people. And they did a good job because none of them exist in history books. So as we gather today, we acknowledge their presence. We acknowledge that they lived here and that they still live here. And the Picasso tribe right now has an exhibit at the Fall River Heritage Park. They're gonna be there through the middle of July and they are there for you to talk to them, to get to know them. And moving forward, we are now in this together. Today, today's acknowledgement is just not a moment. We're with them. We need to help them, we need to listen to them, because so far, nobody has. So they're there for you to get to know, and let's do this together, let's be together in this land, now known as Holbrook. Thank you. So, thank you all for being here. My name is Michael Benavides. I'm the uh, founder of this festival. Um, so, yeah, I'm a bit overwhelmed because it's been an <laughs> exhausting last two days. Uh, but I have to acknowledge a lot of people. Uh, so if you bear with me, uh, I have a, a list here of people, sponsors, uh, and my staff here. So, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge 
our team, uh, made up of Jesse James and Sphere Batel, who are artistic directors from the Azores. Give it up for them, please. And I swear to you, this project would not be possible if it were not for that woman right there in the yellow, Beatrice Oliveira. If you guys, hello, yeah. If you guys have, you know, know about this project and you've worked on this project as artists, you know that Beatrice has been your person. So she's been amazing. She's she helps me out tremendously. I have a day job, and I this is my side hustle. Although I don't make any money at it, but it's but it's a, I, we have a lot of fun. So it's a, it's an amazing project, and this woman brings it all together. So please give it up for her. Uh, Patty Rigo, our communications person, for this cheerleader, Viva Fall River, amazing. So give it up for Patty as well. Um, I'd like to uh, also mention that this project is brought to you by uh, Casa de Sours Nova Inglaterra, which is a uh, an Azorian um, agency that that I believe they're about. 13 or so throughout the world that promote uh, the, Az the Azores and Azorian culture. And uh, being that this project has uh, Azorian underpinnings, I guess, uh, with our curators, uh, we, we raise money under this organization. So I'd like to acknowledge uh, uh, Francisco Vivic, who's with us today. Uh, also, like to acknowledge uh, South Coast Community Foundation. We have, uh, I believe, uh, Kim Goddard and Sarah. Uh, in the house right there, so thank you guys for the support. Uh, we also get support from the other side. Uh, so uh, in Portugal, we have the Luso American Foundation, uh, the government of the Azores, and the Portuguese government are all sponsors. So uh, I'm not sure if there's any representation here from them, but let's give them a round of applause anyway. Uh, and uh, TDI Mass Development, I don't know if Jim McKegg is around, but they've been uh, also supporting this project. Also, local banks, Bay Coast Bank, uh, Bank 5, Tagalia Marketplace, Matuk, uh, have been tremendous supporters. So I'm not going to, I'm going to keep this brief. I'm going to pass this on to the artists. This is um, what you're experiencing right now is what we call the Living Wall Mural, which was uh, a project that Greg Pennison has been trying to accomplish for quite some time. And we were just uh, happy to intervene in some way uh, and make it a reality. Uh, it would not be possible if uh, it weren't for our state representative, Carol Fiola, uh, fighting for this project with Mass DOT, uh, who gave us uh, a bit of a runaround. So we'd like to uh, acknowledge her and her efforts. The city of Fall River also, who've been nothing but great. The mayor and his team, DCM, have been outstanding. They've been working with everyone here actually to install these beautiful sculptures and, and make this all possible uh, so I'll turn it off to um, Greg but then Tyler will also speak to you about the bench that you're all sitting on that was designed specifically for this event it's called Falling River Table and then Maria Anavash Costa who's the young lady here on the end she's the one who designed these beautiful tile sculptures in Portugal that we transported over to be installed by Tyler and his team so This project is the summation of six years worth of uh, effort. Um, Justin Estrella helped me tremendously with this, as well as Ross Mariani, uh, Nick Gilbert, and Mark Mahar. Uh, this could not have been done without them, as well as Representative Carol Fuel, and Michael Beatrice, and Patty Rigo. Um, it's our intention to take this space and act as stewards of it. Uh, return it to a place of, you know, vibrancy, color, form, uh, and create a space that people feel comfortable and, and look forward to visiting or passing through on the bike path. Um, it had fallen into disrepair, and I think that the reception alone is in the indicator. Um, it's a welcome addition to the community. So, you know, I said I keep it brief, and that's that's pretty much it. I'll pass this on. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, thank you so much for being here. It's a very special day for me, and thanks to Michael, Sophia, and Jess. It's an honor to be able to do my first sculpture, landscape sculpture. And these pieces are called bodies of water. They are made out of ceramics, which I normally use in my work. 
and they are part of a research about this feeling you get with this material of water and glaze. As you might know, Portugal has a big tradition on, on tile works and ceramics. So I hope this brings a bit of a connection for the community that I'm I'm loving to meet here. And yeah, I hope it's going to be part of your future. <laughs> and thank you so much. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I built a table inspired by the Quickishan River and its significance to this, this city and, and all of its history. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, before we get started, so thanks for coming out once again. I don't know if the uh, mayor would like to say a few words, but yes. sure, let's do it. I, I just want to acknowledge all the hard work that went into this project. I do want to um, also invite up for a very brief hello, um, Carol Fiola. She was the one that got this whole thing going with her, her uh, ability to stay on point and get the state to give us permission to do these movies. So, uh, state Representative Carol Fiola. Thank you, Mayor Michael and your entire team. Thank you. On behalf of our community, we are grateful to see this type of artistic and cultural activity enhance um, the quality of life for our residents. So thank you very much. We're always here to support you. And just so you know, last night or yesterday, Carol brought the uh, tourism committee from Boston down to view all the work down here, and they were very favorably impressed. Um, but I have to tip my hat to Michael and his team for putting this together so that there's another special place and forum for our residents to enough about him and his whole team and how they ground this out. Thank you, Michael, and the City of Forward Wishes. So now we have a, a DJ set by uh, Nidia from uh, Prince Bishk, who came to us from Lisbon. So you're in for a treat. Thanks for joining us, guys.